Hey guys, welcome back. We are here on Midwest Horizons. We're rolling up on one of our new farms we just purchased. It is a, a small dairy operation, and we're gonna do things a little bit differently. As you can see in the top right corner of the screen, we have zero dollars. We are starting with zero dollars and a cow. So, of course, we have no way to make money because we have no way to feed said cow. So we are gonna be paying for the local co-op to come out and feed the cow. I think it's like a thousand dollars a day. We'll probably end up cutting down some of our trees to get some good cash so that we can start buying some equipment, some bit, so that we can create our own food rather than paying the co-op every day for food. But here we are at the farm. It is right here on the right, just a small dairy operation. We got one barn, one cow, a house, a shed, and a grain bin. So we'll go ahead and park this in this pull barn right here. And we'll go ahead and go look at our cow. So we jump the fence here and here's our one and only cow. It's a Holstein. It's a dairy cow, of course. So the co-op should be coming here any minute now to come with the food so we can get her fed and hopefully she can start producing us some milk to sell. Looks like the co-op guy just rolled up with his feed truck. It's got a nice feed truck here. It looks like it's a Ford, probably F550 or something like that. Nah, it doesn't say. It's just a uh, pretty nice rig here. So he's going to get the cows fed. We're going to transfer him over the $1,000 and he'll be on his way. All right, he's getting the cows fed. Looks like he just got done. So they are full. Let's go ahead and transfer him that $1,000. All right, we just got him paid. He's going to head out here. And I think we have to start cutting down some of our trees just so we can get a quick dollar here in order to get some hay equipment. All right, we're going to hop in the truck here. And we've got some trees around the outside of edge of our property over there. We're going to go cut some of those down. I think the tractor I'm thinking about getting is like $6,000 and then the mower's $3,000. Okay, so we've got a lot to do. All right, we're going to go ahead and cut this tree down. What do you mean I'm not allowed to cut this tree? False. We're going to cut it down anyway. All right, I'll see you guys when we get this tree cut up and on the truck. All right, now it's not the prettiest load in the world, but we've got we've got the wood on the truck. So we're going to head down to the sawmill and see how much this gets us. Now, guys, this isn't going to be your typical zero dollar series. I'm not going to keep cutting down trees. This episode will probably be the only episode I ever cut down trees in this series. My goal for this series is to start a massive dairy farm as well as owning a giant feed company. I want to make and sell feed for all the animals, cows, horses, chickens, sheep, pigs, etc. So hopefully we can get that done in the series, but we've got to start out by cutting some trees down, of course, if we don't flip the truck and die. I, th I think we're safe. All right, we're just showing up to the sawmill here. I've never actually been here on this map. Never really had a reason to. Uh, I assume it's in the back. But I am not sure. Here, here it is. I found it. We should press this button and it should sell. We made $2,500 off that load. That's pretty good. And I hit my truck. All right. We'll head back to the farm, get another load, and uh, we'll see how much money we make. All right. I might, I might have gotten a little impatient here. Just a little bit. As long as we make it to the sell point without the DOT finding out, we should be fine. I'm surprised how well this is actually working, to be honest. We're just cruising. Bridges might be a bit of a struggle, though. All right, I don't know how, but nonetheless, we made it here. Let's see if we can get this tree sold. $1,800. How was a whole tree less than a part of a tree? That is, uh... That's interesting. I guess we gotta keep doing that. All right, so we're just making it back, and I wonder if I just, instead of buying stuff, I lease some stuff just to start, and then when I get the money, buy it. That'll work a lot better. So I think we're going to run into the store and just lease the stuff instead. Because I really don't want to cut down any more trees. That's not what this series is about. All right, we're just pulling up to the store here. We'll go ahead and stop right there, and we'll look in the menu here. All right, the cheapest tractor is this International 706. I think we're just going to buy it stock like this, or lease it, I guess. Lease it for $300. That'll work. And then we also need a mower to start. There they are. And 
we'll start out by leasing this 489 conditioner. That should be plenty. Go ahead and lease that for $100. And then we also need a baler. Maybe a tether too to make sure it's hay. We could buy get this one too. We'll lease that. And we also need a baler. Alright, this'll work. Five grand. Two hundred dollars for the lease cost. That'll work. I guess we'll take the tractor and mower back first. That makes the most sense. Park the truck there for now. Hop up on our tractor here. The international. International Farm Mall, I guess. 706. I hook up to the mower here. It's got plenty of horsepower for it. Let's take it back to the farm and get that field mode. Alright, we're just making it back to the field here. We'll get this unfolded. And we will get this fired up. Lower it down. And hopefully this works. Let's see if I'm doing it right. Yeah, it seems to be going good. We're going to get this field mowed, and then we'll have to go back for the tether. And hopefully we can get all this bailed for hay, so we can stop paying the co-op for their, uh, their feed. The sooner we can make our own feed, the better. Alright, I'll see you guys when we get this field mowed. Alright, we just finished mowing up that field. We'll get the mower turned off and folded back up. It's pretty dirty, but we don't have a power washer right now, so we can't wash it off. Uh, will it even fit in the barn? That's the thing. Uh, it might. Which bay do we want to put it in? That's the question. We'll try to put it in the end one here. I'm not sure it's going to fit, though. Oh, it's really hard to turn to. And we got it to fit, at least. We'll go ahead and drop it right there. And we gotta wait a couple days for the grass to dry out so we can uh, bale it up. So I guess we'll just park the tractor, run back to the truck, and grab the baler. And then we'll, uh, I guess, wait a few days. Hopefully the... Uh, the cow here gives us some milk we can sell too for some money. And uh, I'll see you guys in a couple days. Alright guys, it's been a few days on the farm here. All of the grass has dried out and it's ready to be raked and baled. We traded in our tether for a rake since I didn't need the tether. So we just did a straight up trade for this Vermeer rake here. It should work out good with the tractor. I haven't tested it yet, but it should be fine. Um, as well as we paid $2,000 for the two days of feed from the co-op. That is why we are back in the negatives. We have negative $41. So we've got to get up in the tractor here. Not throw it. I got to turn the super strength off. All right, hop in the tractor here. Get 
the rake and get all that hay raked up. We'll probably sell some of the hay just to make some money because we definitely don't need all the hay for the cattle right now, that is for sure. We'll hop out. We do, have, we do have manual attached, so we'll attach that, attach the hoses, perfect. And we will head out to the field and get it, we will head out to the field and get it all raked up. And we are raking. This shouldn't take us too long, it's a pretty, pretty good sized uh, rake here, so we'll get this all raked up, and then we'll get it all bailed up, and I'll see you guys when we're done. song is playing in a Broadway bar then you walk in and you're all alone the hottest in the room by far and you look up and our eyes lock and my heart falls straight out of my chest baby your lips and your sweet smile let me kiss it till I die for the rest of Alrighty guys, we just finished raking and we went and picked up the baler. Get it unfolded, turn her on, and lower it down. I wonder how many bales we're gonna get off of this field. They are small square bales as you can see, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure I've even ever ran this baler before, but uh, it is for sure cranking the bales out. Now I don't have any trailer or anything, no hay rack or anything to uh, pick these up. So the first load will probably have to be on the back of the pickup truck. And I'll probably just sell the first load. That way we can get some money so we can rent a hay rack to pick the rest of them up. It'd be a lot more efficient if we had a uh, another guy out here so we could stack as we're bailing. But uh, we'll just have to go through and pick them up after we're done bailing. This baler is working pretty good actually right now. I'm surprised at how well it's working. Um, I figured the windrows were going to be way too big for this baler. But it's able to get it all which is a good thing so... We're just going to cruise along. We'll probably get a couple hundred bales off of this field. It's a seven acre field if I remember correctly. So yeah, we'll get quite a few bales off of it. I'm not sure what we're going to do with all of them. We obviously don't need them all for cattle. We want to sell some, but I'm not sure how much we're actually going to sell. Uh, we'll get to that when we get there. We really need to get some money quick so we can invest into some uh, planting or so we can invest into some more land to get some arable crops going because we eventually need to get this uh, this feed business going, the feed mill going, so we can get our uh, our corn and stuff for our pig food and uh, oats for horses and wheat for chickens and all that kind of stuff going. Because we hope to be able to run a monopoly here with our feed business and uh, provide for the whole town. So we got to get enough money to buy more land and stuff. It's going to it's going to take a while, but hopefully we can get there someday and it should be a lot of fun. That's the end goal. Definitely the end goal of the series is to have a giant uh, feed company, but uh we'll see how long it takes us to get there. It'll probably take us a couple of years in game to get there. Uh so sit back and enjoy the ride as we uh, progress to become a Monopoly a feed company. Alrighty guys, we're just finishing up bailing here. That was a, a lot of bailing we just did. Those 
loaded. Come on, get out of there. Alright, we'll pull that up. We'll put this back in the barn. And then we gotta load all of those bales back up onto the flatbed of the truck. And we'll have to sell at least two loads, I think, in order to uh, get enough to rent a trailer. Uh, I'll probably just leave the tractor on there right now, but let's look at the menu and see how many bales we just produced. All right, looking in the stats menu here, we just produced 185 bales. That is a lot more than I thought, to be honest. So now we have to go up and pick up 185 bales by hand with the flatbed truck. It should, should be pretty fun. All right, we're just gonna park the truck in the middle of the field here, and uh, I guess we'll see you when we get it all loaded up. All right, we got the truck loaded down here with the with the hay bales. We got a pretty full load here. Took me a while to get them all on here, but we got them. Now let's see, where do we sell these at? All right, we gotta go all the way to the animal dealer. All right, I'll see you guys when we get down there. All right, we just made it to the animal dealer here. Let's see how much money we're going to make off of this hay. $3,000 off that? That's pretty good. We can probably uh, rent that trailer now. Let's take a look. Head into the shop here. All right, looks like we can lease this for $400. We're going to go ahead and do that. We'll go pick it up at the shop and meet you guys back at the farm. All right, we just made it back to the farm here with the hay rack. Let's see. The nice thing about this this hay rack is, it is auto load. So I think I should just have to hit a button. There we go. And we will auto load all of these bales onto the trailer and get all of them sold. I think we'll keep one or two loads back at the farm for our cows. I guess we only have one cow right now, but for future cows when we get them. So we'll get all these picked up and I will see you guys when we're at the sell point. All right, we just got all the bales on the trailer. We left about 20 bales on the ground out there because uh, we need to keep some from the cattle. So we're gonna sell these. We got 141 bales on this wagon right now. It's not full as you can see, but we needed to keep some behind for the uh, cow, so. We'll take this to the sell point and see how much we make. All right, we made it to the animal dealer. We'll pull in here and see how much money we make. Hopefully it's like 10 to $15,000. That's my guess, at least. Let's see, if we can get in here without hitting the side of that barn like we just did, that'd be great. Now, do I have to, oh, I might have to unload these. Um, yeah, let's just pull in like this and see if we can get them all. All right, that should be good right there. Unload, get them all, please. Looks like we did. $18,000, really? Okay, that's good. $18,886, or $68, rather. That's pretty good. So there's one last thing we need to do in today's episode, and that is see how much milk we have and uh, see how much we made off of it. We'll go ahead and borrow a buddy's uh, milk truck, and we're going to sell however much milk we have, even if it's just a little bit, just to get some money to see how much we're going to make off milk. So I'll see you guys when we get back to the farm. All right, guys, we just got my buddy's milk tanker over here, and we got it filled up with the milk. Let's see, we've got about 264 gallons in there, which uh, for one cow is quite a bit over the course of three days. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and take this to town and see how much money we're going to make. If I had to guess, it's probably going to be only like $1,000, $1,500, but uh, it's something. We need to see how much we're going to make so we can uh, plan accordingly to see what we're going to do next. All right, we're showing up to the mid-dairy here. And we got the trigger. Let's sell the milk. Yeah, $2,077 for the milk. That's pretty good for one cow over the course of three days. All right, guys, I think that's, that's going to do it for this one here on the uh, cattle farm here. We got a lot done today. Started with $0, and we worked our way up to $22,000 in the bank account. And we have a bunch of leased equipment here. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.